This is The Cat's Table by the irrepressible Michael Ondaatje, if I'm saying that correctly. Apologies if I'm not. Uh, it comes about 20 years after his most successful book to date, which of course is The English Patient, uh, a book very much as good as you would hope it would be, given how, how splendid the film was. Um, this is a great read, very enjoyable for the most part. Um, it looks big, but it has a big font, so it's quite a, a, a painless read. I think the only problem I have with this book is that it, it's, um, it starts off slowly, uh, it's like a, a meandering look at a young boy making his way uh, from Sri Lanka to England and that part of it is fascinating because it's unlike anything I've ever read before really. Uh, it's, it made me, makes me dream of a time when travelling around the world would really take weeks, months even, instead of just hopping on a flight and it's over in eight hours with a stopover in Dubai, for example. So that part of it was great, but then almost as if he was worried that he was going nowhere with that narrative, uh, certain elements of the plot are bolted on. There's, uh, a part where towards the end uh, we leave the ship, we follow uh, one of the young ladies that was described earlier in the passage and um, it's, it feels like a short story tacked on to the end and for me that didn't really work terribly well. Uh, but the writing itself is so good and so consistently good um, that it's still a very worthwhile read and for that reason I'm going to give it four stars out of five.